Hey, this is Paul with Video Proc, and in today's video, we got a simple tip to help you up your social media game. With video social media apps like TikTok and now Instagram, which has moved away from photo sharing to more of an emphasis on video sharing, they have helped pioneer that push for vertical videos. And now even YouTube is following suit with their shorts section. In fact, they're betting so hard on it and they wanna keep their dominance on the video streaming game, competing with Instagram and TikTok, that they've actually made a video creators fund to help influence and support creators to make new content for their platform. And whether you wanna grow or create content specifically for video shorts, Instagram reels, or even TikTok, all three of those share something in common. There's a significant increase in watch time and engagement rate if you have a vertical size video versus one that's wide. And the reason for that is really simple. We're watching and engaging with those videos, scrolling up and down with our phones in the vertical position. So it only makes sense that we have a video that takes up the whole screen. And so in this video, we'll be helping you out by sharing how you can create your own vertical videos using our feature rich yet very easy to use video proc converter tool. Before we get into it, if you like these kind of tutorials and how-to videos, be sure to subscribe. So let me quickly take you through that process and show you some of the other cool tools and features that you get with our video proc software. All right, so with video proc converter open, we're gonna go ahead and select video. At the top, we have a couple options for importing our media. We can either import single clips, an entire video folder, if we're working with music, music, and of course, if we've imported stuff but we wanna start over, we can hit the clear button. I'm gonna go ahead and click on video. In this folder from my Insta360 ONE RS, I have a couple 4K clips that I wanna work with. One, two, three, open. And again, we'll get that import dialog. What's really cool is before you even work with the video clips, you have a bunch of really important information that you can see right away. You have the file format, the aspect ratio, and the length of the clip. You'll also see information for your audio track too. Underneath each clip, that's where you'll see the tools for editing the video clip. We have cut, crop, adding subtitles, various effects, rotating, and watermark. Again, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna go into crop, but before we do so, we need to make sure that we have our target format set. In this case, we're using a preset for H.264 MP4 files that are compatible or optimized for YouTube. And that's the really cool thing here. If you're not too familiar with video formats or what you should be exporting to, or what is best optimized for certain platforms, whether that's Vimeo, YouTube, TikTok, or even certain devices, whether that's iPhones or certain Android phones or even tablets, we actually have a lot of really nice profiles that we can use that are pre-selected, that are pre-optimized for exporting to those platforms. So in this case, we're using the YouTube one. And with our format now selected, we can go ahead and apply our crop. Let me take you through that process. Once we click on the clip, it'll automatically begin playing back and you can actually scrub through the clip here. And what's really nice is once you're in these tools, you can actually switch back and forth between them and apply those other effects or tools at the same time. So let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and actually cut down this video a little bit first. I can go ahead and apply the cut and then I can go ahead and apply the crop. The crop does have a couple steps that we need to use. So first we're gonna hit enable crop. We have a few presets that we can choose from. We're gonna actually use free in just a moment, but before I show you that, we also need to make sure that expand video is also selected. The reason for that is if we don't select that, let's say we're in the free form and we're exporting to a nine by 16 video. If my free form crop is either too wide or too narrow, if expand video is not selected, it's actually going to either squeeze or stretch the video in order for it to fit in that nine by 16 aspect ratio. Depending on what you're filming or what you're editing, this might not be a problem. And in fact, it might also be an artistic style that you prefer. However, for a more professional look, most people don't really want a squeezed or stretched out video, and that's why we wanna hit expand video. Now, if we properly use our freeform tool to resize the crop of the video, that won't be an issue, but just to be on the safe side, I always recommend hitting expand video, just in case if the video either is too tall or too wide, it's going to add black bars to the sides or tops of the video in order for that crop to not impact again the actual stretch or width of the video. 
we're going to come back to the crop and I'll show you how to apply the correct crop in just a moment. First, I want to show you a very important step here. We want to make sure that our actual output file is changed to reflect that new 9 by 16 aspect ratio that we want. So we're actually going to do that via resolution. We're going to use a custom resolution here. So again, our video files are 4K 3840 by 2160. That's what we're working with. We want to switch that around 16 by 9 to 9 by 16. We just need to flip those numbers around. So we're going to actually make it 2160 by 3840. We're going to apply to all so that that new aspect ratio is applied to our three video clips. And we can actually confirm that by going into the new video clip and the one after that and you'll see it's 2160 by 3840. So let's go back into our crop tool now that we've done that. So again, we do have a couple presets. So we could do a one by one, a four by four, or a four by three. Go ahead and switch to keep current. And I can move this box around anywhere. So let's say for example, I want the entire height of my video, but I want the middle portion there. I can go ahead and move our new freely created crop anywhere in the video and hit done and it will save it there. So for this first example, I'm going to go ahead and move it to the center there because that's where most of our action is happening and I'm going to hit done. Now for the second and third clip, it's going to be a lot faster and easier because we know our number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enable crop. Again, making sure that expand video is also selected. I'm going to hit free and then go to 2625. Okay, 2625, and then I'm going to hit keep current, and I can again move this anywhere I want, to the side, to the left, let's move it to the left and hit done. And then for the last one, we're going to do something a little bit different, enable crop, expand video selected, free, and then 26. Now here's the other cool thing we can do. Now that we have keep current selected, I can actually resize the video and it's going to keep that perfect aspect ratio. So let's say you're not just resizing but you're also cropping in. You can go ahead and do that. So I just want that tight little center part right there. It looks pretty cool. And we're going to hit done. And now we've applied our crop to three different video clips. Before we export, we do have a couple options. The first that I'll highly recommend is to enable hardware acceleration. If you have a relatively newer computer, VideoProc should be able to take advantage of your computer's hardware to enable faster exports. In my case, I'm using the Apple MacBook Pro 14 inch, which has the Apple M1 Max. So I can enable hardware acceleration. And then below that, this is where we can actually select where we want our exported clips to go and save to. It'll select that folder and it will save there. And now we're ready to export. We're just going to hit run. And you'll see the time remaining estimated at the bottom as well as the elapsed time and your percentage of course. You have two options here. You can either have the program open the folder once it's done exporting everything or you can have the computer shut down once it's done exporting. If you're doing a lot of exports and you're running this overnight, for example, that can be a good option for some people. Now with the faster processor and GPU, as well as the optimization that VideoProc offers, this is only gonna take a few more seconds. And our last clip here is pretty long. I should have actually cut it down, and that's why it's um, taking longer than the other ones. But you can see, even with its longer length, Oh, it's a minute long. It's, it's exporting faster than the actual length of the clip, which is pretty cool. And now it's about done. And it automatically will open our video folder. So we can see and play back our clips. And now we have perfectly cropped videos for vertical aspect ratios in 9x16, just using video proc in a couple steps. And it's that easy to crop your videos to make it into a really nice vertical video for YouTube Shorts. Instagram Reels, or TikTok. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below and we'll be sure to help you out there. 
until the next one. We'll catch you later.